Hi everyone, it's Graham from Mogul Adventures and today we're going to talk about the recently released core battery from Renogy. It's the lithium iron phosphate version and it can be worked in 12, 24 and 48 volt systems. So let's have a look and see what we've got. <laughs> So I wrestled it out of the box. It was wrapped in a plastic bag, had polystyrene around it, uh, and it was fairly well secured. Typical Renogy, uh, the packaging is good and the, the, there should be no damage on it. But even so, when you get it out of the box, just check there's no damage on the corners, those splits in the casing, uh, and it doesn't look like it's been uh, dropped in any way. So that's great. Usual thing with these batteries, uh, lithium ones in particular, don't throw them in the fire. And when it comes to disposing of them, take them to the right uh, recycling unit to deal with them in a professional way. The other thing you shouldn't do is to short out these two terminals, the red and the black, the positive and negative of the batteries. So don't wear any chains, don't have any metal watches are on, uh, keep your rulers and your spanners away from this end. When you've got it out of the box, there are other things in the packaging. So there is a battery terminal covers that sit on here so your cable is sitting in here with its lug and you tighten that down and that'll be sitting there to stop any short happening when it's fixed in your van or your vehicle or your house there are some extended bolts so that you can join two cables or more on each of these terminal posts so they're longer bolts you have a five-year warranty with this product and there's an e-warranty card all you do is scan in the barcode, go to the website, fill in your details, and there you have it, a five-year warranty. Stickers for your van window if you want to advertise that you run Renergy products. And the user manual. And the user manual these days is now printed in colour. So quite useful to read about how to set it up, what tools that you need. It does say that you need a 10mm spanner for these bolts, but actually they are 13mm or half inch. So don't necessarily uh, go and get yourself a 10, 10 mil spanner because it won't fit. There are uh, lots of information about how to configure the battery bank and its size. And I'm going to come back to that in a minute. In terms of its physical size, it's the same size as the other Renogy 200 amp hour batteries. In that it's 25, 20, 20 inches long, 20 and a half inches long. It's nine and a half inches wide, and it's eight and a half inches tall. Now I did see on another YouTube channel from a, another Renogy uh, supporter, he had taken the covers off of this, and he had said that there was an awful lot of space inside, and that Renogy could, if they wanted to, have made this unit smaller. I don't really care about that too much, because in comparison to having an AGM bank of the same capacity, this is significantly smaller. You'd have three AGM batteries, uh, which would probably be twice the weight and twice, maybe three times the size. So yes, maybe a little bit smaller, but you know, it is what it is. So on the Renogy website, there's an incredible amount of positive feedback for this core battery. And I think there are two reasons for that. Firstly, the number of cycles. This can do 5,000 cycles before it's claimed its DOD, depth of discharge, will reduce to 80%. So 5,000 cycles is you can use the 200 amp hours partially, fully, three quarters, whatever, re recharge back up, but it's 200 amp hours in and out 5,000 times. After that, it goes to 80% of DOD. So that means you'll get 160 amps. So this could actually last a lot longer than the five years that the, the warranty is given. In fact, I read somewhere they expect it to last about 10 years. So in terms of your investment, considering that it's cheaper than the 200 amp hour uh, Bluetooth version, uh, makes it good value. It also has the ability to charge at 100 amps an hour. So if you've got a massive solar array, or you've got your generator running, or your B2B running, then um, it will take 100 amps an hour to charge it. So if, if it's fully discharged, two hours till it's topped up but it'll also discharge at 200 amps an hour and for a short burst, take some of the energy and big chunk out. So, I don't know, you know, a high start on some machine and it'll allow you to take a big chunk out, which just means you need to make sure the cables 
that you tie this up to are big enough to cope with. So that would mean it's a 4 slash 0 AWG or 107 millimeter squared cables to connect this. If you don't think that sort of thing is going to happen, then the 200 amp size uh, cables, which would be the AWG2, they're the sort of cables that you'd be looking at. But depending on your setups, you need to choose your, the right cables. And the setups here, and this is the second point why I think this is an attractive unit. This is 12.8 volts. You can put four of these in series, which would make 48 volts. We'll put two in, 24, three and 36. You can also add another 12 in parallel. So you can have 16 batteries, four this way, four in parallel. That is huge. Far more than we need for a camper van, far more than you need for your school bus, probably would run your house. So big uh, capacity batteries. And that's where I think the core battery from Renergy is starts to be a winner. The downside is it's not Bluetooth enabled. Now Renergy have been pushing the Renergy One, the Core One uh, app and the DC Home app and you can't read what's going on in this battery. The only way you can work out what's happening is if you go and buy the Renergy battery monitor and the 500 amp shunt. Uh, I don't think it comes with it, I think it's a, a separate additional purchase. When you've got one of those and you connect the shunt to the negative all the currents going in and out will be measured so will the capacity of the battery as will the voltage of the battery more accurately. To me that's a bit of a step back because I want to put this in the van I've got my Renergy One set up I'm hoping to you know connect other things to this and this is just a big hole in that display that doesn't show me the battery. That said you can't argue with the capacity. Maybe Renergy will release a core version later on that has a Bluetooth capability, even if it's the plug-in thing that they use rather than this shunt, or they give us a shunt that has a plug-in to a Bluetooth. I don't know, up to you Renergy. But that said, um, I think this has got an awful lot of potential for somebody that needs a massive battery bank and isn't too worried about the intricate workings of what's going on. So, this is the 200 amp core battery from Renergy. I'm Graham, and this is Mowgli Adventures, and thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button.